This is the story of me packing up my life, flying across the whole world and moving to a completely foreign country, only to find a place that I can call home. Germany, a place where I never felt like I belong. Well, never is not true, it wasn't always like that. Growing up, I obviously didn't think about whether or not this place would be the right one for me. But after traveling to 10 different countries all around the world at age 18, my mindset started to change. I saw so many different places, different people, different cultures and most importantly, different perspectives on life. I was able to see life through the eyes of another person and it felt like a whole new world opened up to me. But, unfortunately, this didn't last. It's hard to put into words, but after returning to Germany, I just felt like I didn't fit in. I slowly realized that the values and identity of my home country didn't really connect with my own ones. Everyone around me had a very different view on what it means to live a successful and happy life and it felt like the structures and traditions of our society were kind of holding me back from being myself. Belonging within a community is one of the deepest human needs we have. We all want to belong somewhere and more often than not we try to change ourselves or put on a mask in order to fit in and meet the expectations of our society. We meet up with people we don't want to meet and we get jobs we don't actually like only in order to get that feeling of acceptance and belonging. But after seeing what's out there, I didn't want to simply adapt to a set of beliefs only because I was born in one place. I tried to shift my identity by watching movies in English, writing my notes in English and even forming my thoughts in English. I just felt like through speaking English I was able to escape my bubble and connect with people from all around the world. I mean, that's the reason why I make my videos in English, because I want to share my messages and ideas with every single one of you out there and not only with the ones who happen to be born in this place. I started to think more and more about the idea of moving abroad. Wouldn't it be a waste to stay in the same country in which I lived for 18 years of my life? Aren't there so many more places and cultures to explore? Am I only reading one page of the whole book? Over the next four years, my dream of moving to a foreign country started to become stronger and stronger, but still, I didn't do it. I worked in different internships, got my first full-time job and moved to another small city in Germany. I thought that my urge to leave this country would eventually go away, but after two more years of living in that town, I realized that this is something I need to do. And so, I quit my job. I wasn't sure where I was going to head, but at least I was sure that I'm going to do it. Filled with joy, ready to start this new chapter of my life, on my last day at work, something happened which none of us ever expected. The global pandemic hit and the world locked down. I moved back into my mother's place and after that into a one-room apartment in Munich in order to wait for the pandemic to pass. Well, guess what? It didn't pass. Days turned into weeks and weeks turned into months. I was stuck in my apartment and couldn't leave to another country. This was out of my control and I entered a very long period of waiting. Waiting for my new life to start. Do you know what's the bad thing about waiting? You just feel like anything that happens before that turning point is straight up useless. In my mind, I was already living far in the future and therefore I just wanted the present moment to pass as quickly as possible. It just felt like any long-term effort in improving my current situation was not worth it as I was going to move abroad in a month from now. I told myself that I wouldn't get any nice decor for my apartment, not make any new friends and definitely not commit to a relationship. I gotta say that this mindset made me feel miserable. I was deeply in need of new people and would have loved to be in a relationship, but I didn't allow myself to do it in order to ease the pain when my day of departure would arrive. I locked myself in and worked on my YouTube videos for most of the time. I felt like these videos would be the only things that could actually last when moving away. 
I'm very excited to say that today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp, so let me explain what they are about. I've been going through some dark times and short periods of depression throughout my life. I found the best way to get out of that hole is to talk to a therapist, because you can talk to a person who observes your situation objectively, has a lot of experience in mental health, and provides you a safe place to talk about your feelings. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and gives you access to more than 24,000 licensed therapists all around the world. So how does it work? You basically just sign up, you go through a number of questions about your personal life and the issues you face in order for them to assess your needs and match you with a therapist. You'll get matched in less than 48 hours and you will be able to communicate with your therapist in numerous ways. You can always send and receive messages 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and you can also schedule weekly live video and phone sessions in which you directly talk to your therapist. I actually signed up for BetterHelp myself and already had my first two live videos video sessions, which provided a ton of value and insights to the struggles I'm facing at the moment. Don't worry, I'm okay, but I think every person has some sort of issues and a therapist can really help with that. I honestly think that it is a great platform and on top of that it is also much more affordable than traditional therapy. If you yourself currently face issues that keep you from being happy, make sure to visit betterhelp.com slash Nicholas and join more than 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. You can find the link in the description and you will get 10% of your first month if you sign up. After waiting for more than 15 months in my apartment, I decided to finally make a change. I couldn't postpone my dream any longer into the future and I needed to get my ass up. Now. Obviously, I didn't just pack up my whole life and move to a foreign country in a matter of days. A decision like that needs preparation, but as I said, this thought of moving abroad has always been in the back of my head and I slowly started to shift my life into a direction in which I could make it happen. I knew that the main issue would be my work, because I still did a lot of freelance film productions at that time and because of that I was still quite dependent on my network and my location, because I needed to be there in person in order to shoot the video, right? So that's why I decided at a very early stage in my YouTube journey to refuse high paying freelance projects in order to just 100% focus on creating content on social media and building up my online shop. Did I regret this decision? Not at all, because now I was so much more powerful passionate about the videos I created and in addition it also provided me a much better basis to move to a foreign country because I could do this work from anywhere in the world and I didn't need to start all over again building up all of these contacts and building up all of these clients. As my whole life was finally set up for moving abroad, I made the decision to move to Cape Town in South Africa. Why Cape Town? It has some of the most incredible landscapes with its mountains and beaches, the weather is really good and the mentality of the people seems to be one of a kind. So why the fuck not? As I now had a clear goal in mind, there were only three things left to do. Sell gear I don't need, book my flights and pack my bags. So I'm right now thinking how I should get all of my stuff to Cape Town because there's like uh, all of my different clothes, all of the gear, so much stuff here. I think I need four or five additional suitcases, around 200 US dollars per additional baggage. This is going to get fucking expensive. <laughs> Shit. I just got myself the same suitcase four times. <laughs> So two of them are going to be for my clothes and all that kind of stuff that you need if you want to live in another place and two of them are going to be for filmmaking gear. <laughs> Basically I just realized that I still have so much gear that I need to get rid of because I can't take all of this stuff with me. Like I have drawers filled with stuff that I just don't need anymore and now I'm just going to go through all of that stuff and I'm going to see what I can sell, what I can give away. Fuck, I hate this kind of stuff. <laughs> so now it was time to figure out what I'm going to sell and what I'm going to keep. I looked through all of my camera equipment, repackaged everything into the boxes and took photos of the different items. Then I uploaded all of the photos to my Instagram stories and waited for the messages to come in. 
So I was able to actually sell a very large part of my filmmaking equipment because on my Instagram account it just sells like hotcakes. <laughs> it's actually really nice. I'm just gonna package up everything and get it to the post office. Oh, this fucking shit is heavy. Oh. I'm not kidding you, this post office closed two days ago, completely shut down. Why? Why? Oh, I hate sending packages. Just hate it. <laughs> now that I took care of the organizational stuff, it was time for the most important task. Let's book a flight. Okay, Munich to Cape Town. Departure on October 4th. Search flights. Qatar Airways. Munich with a stop in Doha and then to Cape Town. That one looks good. Cheaptickets.de. That's where I book my flights. <laughs> so, I'm gonna click pay now. And, and the flight is booked! Yes! Oh my god, fuck. This is the moment where I actually realize this is going to happen. Yes, I'm flying to South Africa, woo! Clicking that button and booking that flight got me quite emotional. It kind of flipped a switch in my head and I realized that moving to another country was not only some far-fetched dream anymore. I honestly can't put into words what I'm feeling right now. This was a dream of mine for, I think, really like three to four years. Ever since I came back from my trip, I wanted to move to a foreign country. I actually was about to move to Cape Town when I was 19, but I didn't do it. And now it's just fucking happening. It's just happening, hey. Oh my god. Woo! <laughs> yes. Oh, this is feeling so good, guys. This is like a barrier that was in my head for so many years. It just disappeared. It's going to happen and there's no way going back. Yes! Checking off that second point left me with only one last thing to do. So, tomorrow is the flight. Um, it is now 4 p.m. and I still haven't packed anything yet. I have four suitcases to fill up and that's what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> so, this is my whole life in four suitcases and one backpack. This is crazy, it actually fits Perfectly, look at this. So my light is going to go in here. There are some cables, drone, then there are clothes, small clothes, hiking gear, filmmaking equipment and drones, gimbal, and last but not least, all of the lenses. And here is going to go the camera. Unfortunately, I have to leave the neon sign because it's also too big, but I'm surely gonna take this one with me. All right, everything is packed up. I'm pretty sure that in total this is like a hundred kilograms. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to carry all of this stuff at the airport. There it was, the day I'd been waiting for this whole time. It took me years to overcome my doubts and gather the courage to finally get on this plane. After saying goodbye to my mom and my grandma, the journey to South Africa began. All right, so all of the bags are checked in. <laughs> Made it through the security check. I had to unpack almost everything, all the lenses and batteries and all that stuff. I'm getting used to it. This is what you have to deal with if you're a filmmaker. <laughs> Hi. 
After 7 hours of Netflix, 3 hours of sleeping in Doha, 5 hours of crying babies and 1 hour of playing with the world map, the magic was done and I arrived in Cape Town. Good morning, welcome to Cape Town. Hi, thank you. The eagle has landed. <laughs> All of the bags arrived, that is very good. I didn't expect it to be honest. <laughs> Janika, who is a friend of a friend, was kind enough to pick me up and during the ride I couldn't believe my eyes. I kind of start to realize that this is actually happening right now. <laughs> Look at those mountains, this is crazy. Is it still pretty for you as well? Or oh, are you no, used to like it? Every single time I come over this yeah? neck, I'm like, oh, I'm so happy here, I love it so much. <laughs> the one thing that got me to come to Camps Bay was just like when I saw photos of like mountains this. and the sea as well. I don't know many places where you have that. Probably Hawaii, but that's it. Not far. <laughs> <laughs> where is it? No man. Probably it's just up there, far. maybe. So that was just your suitcase, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> While driving here. We found the Airbnb. Let's check it out. <laughs> we have arrived. Look at that. This is my view for the next two weeks. Um, I just rented out this Airbnb and this balcony is just insane. I love this. Man, I'm in Cape Town. I'm in freaking Cape Town. Woo. Is Cape Town going to be the answer to finally belong? I don't know, time will tell. But if there's one thing that I want you to take away from this video, it's to stop waiting for things to happen. I know that every single one of you out there has some desire going through your mind right now, but you don't act on it because you're too scared to fail, be rejected or get uncomfortable. It can be moving to another city, asking out that girl you met in the park or quitting your job in order to start that interesting business idea. No matter what it is, trying is always better than waiting. If you wait, you will always stay right where you are, while if you try, you can either succeed or fail, learn from it and do it better the next time. Yes, I'm flying to South Africa! Woo! The eagle has landed. <laughs> I know that many of you guys might think that I have all privileges in the world to do what I do, but guess what? One and a half years ago, I was living in my mother's place and started this YouTube channel. If you want to make it happen, you can. All of these obstacles and limitations only exist in your mind. As soon as you start believing in yourself and you take that first step, things will fall into place. I honestly think that every day of waiting is another day of postponing your happiness into the future. Life is unpredictable. Some opportunities might disappear in a few days from now or your life might flip upside down and you will not be able to fulfill that desire anymore. That's why I think that it is so important to really listen to that voice in your head, set up a plan and make it happen. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I have a special surprise for all of you filmmakers out there, which is that I made a creator pack, which includes a ton of different editing assets that are going to help you get started as a creator and level up your filmmaking game. The pack includes my Notion project database, my folder structure, different templates for my editing projects and thumbnails, and a few of my presets and LUTs. On top of that, you will find a short tutorial for each of these assets, which are going to explain how they work. And believe it or not, all of this is for free because I really want to help you out to get started as a creator. All you gotta do is head to the second link in the description, sign up for my newsletter and you got the pack. <laughs> I wish all of you guys a great day and we're going to see us in the next video here from the new headquarters in South Africa. Peace out, bye bye.